The sun is the most abundant source of energy on the planet, and yet every day we burn tons of coal and oil to power our homes and businesses. Everyone can agree something needs to change about our consumption. What would happen if we were able to utilize all of the power that the sun provides us every day? Could solar panels create enough impact to create a clean environment? Solar PV systems are not particularly complex. First, there are panels, which collect the sunlight and turn it into electricity. The DC signals created by the panels are fed into an inverter, which converts the DC into grid-compatible AC power, which is what you use in your home. Mounting your PV panels is of critical importance. First, you need to mount the panels where they'll get maximum sunshine over the course of a year. But the more difficult problem is to mount them with enough integrity that they'll stay put for 25 years or more. The PV panels are likely to be the most expensive part of the whole unit. Their placement and mounting affect your system performance more than any other part of the job. Various switch boxes are included for safety reasons and the whole thing is connected by wires and conduit. These are the inverter systems that are used for the panels shown before. Inverters take the low voltage, high current signals from the PV panels and convert them into 120 VAC or 240 VAC to match the grid power. This all gray box is what sends the converted grid energy outside through the wires and into the electrical grid.
large conduit and wires are necessary to carry such large amounts of electricity. Disconnect switches are a crucial part of safety regarding the panels. These quickly shut off all flow of electricity through the system. Now there's all sorts of gimmicky solutions like that one, uh, but they don't really add up to much. We need solutions, either one or several, that have unbelievable scale and unbelievable reliability. And although there's many directions or people seeking, I really only see five that can achieve the big numbers. The last three of the five I've grouped together. Uh, these are what people often refer to as the renewable sources. And they actually, although it's great they don't require fuel, they have some disadvantages. One is that the density of energy gather in these technologies is dramatically less than a power plant. This is energy farming. So you're talking about many square miles, thousands of times more area than, it, than you think of as a normal energy plant. Also, these are intermittent sources. Uh, the sun doesn't shine all day, it doesn't shine every day, and likewise, the wind doesn't blow all the time. And so if you depend on these sources, you have to have some way of getting energy during those time periods that it's not available. So we've got big cost challenges here. Uh, we have transmission challenges. For example, say this energy source is outside your country, uh, you not only need the technology, but you have to uh, deal with the risk of the energy coming from elsewhere. And finally, this storage problem. The amount of panels and power created by these panels is too much for the average household. These office and workspaces are a combined 13,000 square feet. The company that uses the solar panels shown earlier is Spry Digital an interactive agency that designs and builds websites. This is their office. During the winter without solar panels, their electric bill would run anywhere from $200 to $300, and in the summer anywhere from $500 to $700. With solar panels, there became a significant difference. In the summer, there were times where there was no bill at all, and the power company actually owed them money, and in the winter, it could be between fifty and a hundred dollars.
Through the years, as solar panels have become more widely available, they have become more used in household settings as well as in large industrial businesses to help lower large electricity bills. Through the years, as solar panels became more widely available, they, be they have become more widely used in household settings as well as in large businesses to help lower large electricity bills. Just by driving down the highway, we were able to see solar panels being used in multiple ways. As one of the largest producers of electricity in Missouri, Ameren realizes these issues and has attempted to change how they create energy for Missouri. Ameren UE headquarters are located in downtown St. Louis. They played a role in helping reduce greenhouse gas emissions by creating 30% of their power through cleaner sources. In 2010, they began installing solar PV technologies of 100 kilowatts on their St. Louis headquarters. And in 2011, began offering solar installation rebates and incentives to customers. By creating the O'Fallon and Renewable Energy Center, this is the first time in company history solar energy is part of the, their energy mix being delivered to Ameren, Missouri, 1.2 million electric customers. The O'Fallon Renewable Energy Center, Ameren, Missouri's first solar center and the largest investor-owned utility-scale solar facility in Missouri, is generating clean energy. Construction started in late spring 2014 and was completed in delivering power December 2014. Average generation is about 5.7 megawatts, which is able to power about 700 homes. The system has more than 19,000 panels. 